Bhagavad Gita, text 3.27 All actions are performed by the gunas. One who misidentifies with the body in false ego imagines I am the doer. In this verse, Krishna describes the bewilderment of the ignorant who identify themselves with the body and mind. In ignorance, people think themselves to be independent in their action, seeing themselves as the agents of action. If they are enlightened, they can understand the nature of action, whence it arises and how it can be harnessed to bring about emancipation. The functions of the body are the movements of material nature whereas the soul is the non-doer. Without this understanding, ignorant people do not realize that they are embodied souls and that their physical actions and thoughts are not really their own. Not the movement of their self, but movement under the influence of material nature overseen by God. While this verse stresses the difference between spirit and matter, the former being a witness to the action of the latter, the Gita's message is not entirely dualistic. And thus this verse, understood in the context of the entire Gita, cannot be equated with Sankhya philosophy which maintains complete dualism of matter and spirit. Baladeva Vidyabhushana points out that the individual soul is a factor in action, although only one among others. Besides, Bhagavad Gita 18.14, where Krishna says as much himself, material nature acts only as a result of contact with spirit, both God and the individual soul. Thus, the soul is not without its influence over actions of the body. The limited sense in which the soul also acts is brought out in the following verse, wherein we learn that rather than becoming attached to the senses and sense objects, one can do otherwise.